Well, let's see what Jesus is saying here. This is chapter 19. It's actually called the attainment of peace. Would you like to attain peace? Like a piece of pizza? Or is that a different kind of peace? And section one of chapter 19 is called Healing and Faith. Healing and Faith. When Jesus says we, who is he talking to? Who, who is his reference point when he says we? Is it him and whoever's reading it? Is that who he means by we? Him and you? We? So you have to include yourself in this then. It's not like he's not talking about the guy next to you. So he says, we said before. That's his first sentence here. We said before. Who's this we? Yeah, is he somewhere at a time with more of we? Do you think maybe more of we did this? I've suggested that to you more than once, haven't I? We said before, he didn't say I. He said we. He could have said I, couldn't he? No. We'd have been okay if he said I, wouldn't we? No. But we don't even think about it if he says we. <laughs> Maybe you should. Maybe you need to be more inclusive in this. We said before that when a situation has been dedicated wholly to truth, peace is inevitable. Now you know the way. It, it, in one sentence, you've got the whole thing. And the only difficulty you have with that is that he uses that word total. And I've, I've talked to you about total before, haven't I? And you've struggled with that idea. Like if you were totally mistaken, you'd be okay. But you think totally mistaken is the worst thing that you could experience. But if you were totally mistaken, you could wake up. Because there's nothing left except for to wake up. But if you're partially mistaken, you still have to come to recognize that the things that you think you're right about, you're also mistaken about. And that will, that will demand that you have more time, right? And people to have those experiences with, right? So you won't let your brother go either, will you? You'll have to hold the whole thing together just because you don't want to be total. And all of that from one sentence. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Isn't that what happens when you read? You just read one sentence and just all this stuff happens to you. And you're just like, I don't even know how I can get to the second sentence. And then you, you get to the second sentence and a whole other thing happens like that. And you don't even know how you're going to get through the end of the page. Isn't it amazing the way that happens? Because your mind is just looking how everything fits together and how everything has to be whole in that total. Yeah. Right? And everything else just gets sorted out. Because it's not supportive. I know your mind works that way. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> 
its attainment is the criterion by which the wholeness of the dedication can be safely assumed. Did you hear that? The attainment of peace is the criterion by which the wholeness of your dedication can be safely assumed. Peace indicates that you've been totally dedicated. Because, you know, it's inevitable. So if you're wondering about your dedication, all you have to do is, is um, take an honest look about whether or not you experience the peace of God. And if you don't, then there's something missing in your dedication. And once again, don't use guilt at that point. Use that as inspiration for more dedication. Hello? Don't, don't fall into that trick of, oh, oh, I'm not good enough, well with me, and you know, I'm not worthy, and you know, all that attack upon God. Yourself and your brother. No. Connect with faith. Remember what you really want. 